The aim of the convex mirror lab was to find the focal length of a convex lens through varying the distances of U and V and producing a real image on the screen. The materials we used in this lab were a tea candle, a screen, some matches, a ruler, and a convex lens. First, set up apparatus as shown in the diagram, putting the tea candle, convex lens, and white screen where we, we will project the image all in a straight line. Next, light the candle and adjust the distance from the convex lens to the flame, U, and the distance from the lens to the screen where the image is projected, V, so that a clear image appears on the screen. Once you have a clear image, using a ruler, record the measurements of U and V. The light rays are being refracted through the lens and produce a real image on the screen. We can classify the image as a real one because it appears upside down and the rays of light actually go through the lens and hit the screen. Take 40 measurements, varying the distance of U and V so that a real image is still produced on the white screen behind. To use your time efficiently, record your measurements of U and V in a Microsoft Excel worksheet as you go. Then, once you have taken your 40 measurements, plot a graph of your data on Excel. You should see a J-curve shaped graph. Once you have your graph, input horizontal and ver vertical asymptotes where appropriate. The intersection of the asymptotes on the graph is the focal length of our convex lens, which, according to our graph, was at the point 14.7, 9.1. From this, we have the measure of U and V, which we will use in order to calculate the focal length by the formula 1 over U plus 1 over V equals 1 over F. Our focal length was 5.62 cm. The purpose of this lab is to find the focal length of convex lens. According to our results, the focal length calculated was 5.62 cm. In other words, at this point, the rays will converge to produce an image which is real, inverted, enlarged, and can be projected onto a screen in focus. Throughout this lab, there are many possible sources of error that might have affected and skewed the data which we collected. Firstly, since we were taking the points in a semi-dark classroom, it was difficult for us to produce the exactly correct image because it was hard for us to say when it was focused. Also in the lab, we had to measure the distance of U from the screen to the convex lens and the distance of V from the convex lens to the candle. Since we were using a ruler that only went to 100 cm, and sometimes the distances were over 100 cm, we had to estimate the location of the ruler and move it during the middle of the measurement. Also, we had to measure to the middle of the candle at the wick for our measurements of V, and sometimes, due to the lighting, we were off by a couple of millimeters. Even though this seems insignificant, a few millimeters will drastically change the data and make the focal length that we calculated different from the actual number. Also on the graph, we had to manually draw on the asymptotes to find the focal length, and our perception of this could be off and produce a slightly different number. To improve this, we could use better technology where we could get a clearer image and record more precise measurements of U and R.